So, um, 4.22 is going pretty good so far. It's uh, not without its issues so far, but they're patching them. Uh, one of my bug fixes for the engine that I had a pull request up for got pulled in, so the next 4.22 patch should have that, where it fixes the Steam VR stereo layers being rotated incorrectly. So that's good. The stereo layer widget component should be more functional now in Steam VR. Um, aside from that, I changed up the grip interface some. You'd have to see the um, patch notes for that. It's a fairly minor change as far as what anyone will care about, but it's major as far as progressing the plugin into the future. It will open up more ease of use of multiple hand interactions that aren't, you know, hard coded by me. Um, outside of that, I started up a website for the plugin because the wiki for the repositories was too hard to make documentation in. And I wanted a cleaner presentation and a place where maybe even people that felt like contributing could um, write their own articles and tutorials in. So I made a website, and it's uh, vreue4.com. I'll link it in the comments of this video, or in the subtitle of this video. But the big thing that I wanted to go over was I've had a lot of requests for, for a um, flight stick style VR lover. And it's not actually the easiest thing to conceptualize, and I um, kind of avoided it for a while as I had more important things to work on. And I don't know, the other night I just was going to sleep, and I had a thought and about an easier way to handle it. So I made it, and here it is. It's a normal XY angle lever where it's got, you know, full XY every direction, except for with one major difference in that it reorientates itself to face your original orientation with your hand. It's a normal XY when you go to here, it enacts some additional roll to get it across these rotations because you can't just do it with pitch and yaw. So it'll add some roll into it to roll it over so it meets those. But the flight lever then reorientates it back to its original rotation relative to your hand. So now you have total yaw control, and you have uh, pitch, and you have roll control. And since this is more advanced, I opened up more variables with it. Again, there's patch notes on the new website and on the form thread going over um, how this works and the different variables for it. But this uh, right here, oh, let's go to that. This is the total angle of the lever. So right now it's 90 degrees in angle. And that's just wherever you pointed are. That's the total overall lever angle. And then this value here is what is the lever's forward vector. So if you go all the way down in X, it's a little hard to line up perfectly, but you see an X of 1, so the forward vector is 1. You go over to here to Y of 1, you have a Y forward vector of 1. And somewhere about in between here, you have X7 and Y7. It's in between the two. And it projects down to a 2D plane, so this is just the 2D value of the forward vector. Um, that's useful for quite a few things. But what I specifically added for the flight stick, and then roll into the other lever types just in case you want to use it, is I added a new variable type called all current lever angles, which fills in a, a, a rotator with the pitch, yaw, and roll values that the current lever type uh, submits. So uh, X lever would be um, only adjusting the uh, roll. Only the roll would be adjusting on that. Um, wait, sorry, that's pitch. Only the roll would be being adjusted on it. Uh, a Y facing lever, only the pitch would be changed on that rotator. The X, Y will have both the um, pitch and the roll being submitted into that these values but then the flight lever also has the yaw away from original facing as well so you get full three off um angular values for the lever then this is something people ask for because they wanted to make like uh helicopters or planes or flight sims or like mech controls you know stuff like that and oh well i finally made it so it's available right now in 4.22. Um, you just change the lever type to uh, flight stick XY and sample from the new values, and it should work. So 
I'll keep working and you guys have fun.